Hello everybody, this is T with Kate's Crafty Closet with another Christmas tag in my Christmas 2019 tag series. So this is an easy, fun, simple tag. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I went ahead and did is I have a die set from Sweet and Sassy stamps, and this is called a Christmas Ornament Tag Dies. So you get three dies in here, you get the ornament, you get a little heart, and you get the topper. So today we're only going to use the um, the actual ornament part. So you put that to the side. And what I went ahead of that is die cut two pieces out. This is some Nina Desert Storm cardstock. This is the 80 pound version. And I will do the best to my ability to link all the products that I use today's video in the description box below. So. Here we go, these are our two pieces. I'm doing two pieces, number one, and give a little bit of sturdiness, and number two, to be able to hide the antlers and leave enough space on the back of it to write a message or to and from on it. So we have those two, so we're gonna put that to the side for a moment. Then we're gonna bring out a piece of white cardstock. I've already did a little punching with it. I have this punch from EK Success. It's like a branch punch. Um, if you do not have a branch punch like this, um, you can just use some dies that you may have that are like pine needles or any of, uh, like any of those kind of branches and stuff like that. So it's kind of like use what you have. Like this is one of the things I have and I just went ahead and punched some of those out. Okay, so I have an extra one already sitting on here and this is where I was kind of coloring it in my because if I don't I really didn't have brown card stock and I like to color a little bit with stuff like this because you leave that little bit of um, texture to it because it's not perfectly shaded and an antler on a deer is not perfectly shaded so I just went in head with a Copic marker this is E79 you can use any color brown that you want or what you have and I just went ahead and colored up this um, deer. Well, it's gonna be a deer antler, but technically it's a branch. And make sure you do both sides. Um, so I'm not gonna 100% com completely finish just showing you what I did. So like I said, you can use crayons, whatever you have in your stash. You have brown cardstock, you most certainly can do that. So once you get those two done, which through the magic of television, I already have two done. Look at that. Awesome, right? So untie them. Not untie them, but get them from tied up. So here we have come back with our two little ornament pieces. I'm gonna come in with some distress oxide vintage photo and we're gonna ink those edges up just to give them a little bit of dimension. So I'm gonna ink my uh my sponge dauber here and I'm going to pound some of it off so I don't get too dark in one spot and not in enough and and the reason why I'm doing this first is because we're going to have to put our um, antlers on and they'll be in the way of getting the uh, ink on the edges. So, and that's why I had it when do this. Okay. And then we'll do, we don't need to do the back side on that. You just need to do one side on each one because we're going to be gluing those together. And if you want to add more shading into the, uh, the uh, what you call it, the, uh, I'm trying to think what I'm trying to say, into the ornament itself, the deer, you most certainly can. I'm just doing the edges and I'm perfectly fine with that. So we're kind of already done with that aspect. So the next thing I, I went ahead and did is make sure you flip it over and I just make sure that the, the Antlers here are facing opposite in directions, like going into each other. So it's like instead of facing the same way, but this is what I'm going to do. And it's like kind of place them on here to see where I want them. And I'm like, yeah, that should be okay. I'm like, yeah, that should be okay. And you can use wet glue, you can use a tape runner just to hold those down. I'm just going to use a little dab of liquid adhesive on here just to hold them down and then we'll add a little bit more liquid adhesive so we can 
um, glue the two um, ornament pieces together. So bring that up a little bit and then we wind up placing that one on top. So let's just go ahead and put our glue on here. And like I said, you can use a tape runner, kind of whatever, whatever you feel like using is completely 100% up to you. But I'm just gonna use some liquid adhesive because it grabs really quickly and dries rather quickly. Make sure I put the top back on my glue. Have a tendency to lose those things in the craft room. So let's do our best and we're gonna line this up. And because we have their liquid, we have a little bit of wiggle room on that. All right, and seems good to me. So I'm gonna press down on that. And you can put a sentiment on here. You can actually make these into ornaments. You can put people's names on it, like in some white ink, most certainly can do that. Um, the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to grab some googly eyes. Like who doesn't love googly eyes, right? So let's find two googly eyes. I think these are the same size. Yeah, maybe not. Those ones, we don't want lopsided eyeballs, right? So let's find another matching set. Here we go. That's much better. I think we like that one a lot better, right? Okay. So before I glue things on, I'm going to cut a piece of red ribbon. You can use whatever color you want. Um, this, I'm going to cut like 12 inches so I can fold it in half and it becomes six inch is on both sides so here we go just trim it down okay and I will fold it in half and then do a slip knot into the top of that tag and then we can add our other few elements to um, this reindeer tag um, if I can even fold ribbon today it's kind of for Florida it's a little chilly here but that's okay sorry about that um, I got a phone call and it stopped my video so I apologize for the little bit of a delay there so we're just gonna go ahead and pull our ribbon through the uh, the tag here top of the tag squeeze it and then there we go and then like I said do a slip knot and just pull through and there we have our tag part then we're gonna go ahead and add for some added glue adhesive on here for our eyeballs and then we're gonna put our little googly eyes on here if you have a stamp or anything that has eyes you can most certainly use that too don't have to use googly eyes I just like googly eyes cuz they're interactive so the next thing you're gonna do is put a heavy amount of glue at the bottom for this pom-pom this is a pom-pom I just had in my stash and I'm just going to give it let it sit there for a second cuz that's gonna take a little bit to dry and adhere to that card stock but that is our little tag today and like i said you can put a sentiment on here if you want like that glue will dry clear so i'm not stressing about that you can put names like i said you can add this onto a tree as an ornament it can also even be a uh a place setting on a table with everybody's name so where they're going to sit at so i want to thank y'all again for joining me for this quick simple easy tag in my 2019 christmas tag series and y'all have a craft today y'all